And now P6, uh, 0 0.1, uh, and now it exists. So I actually created that function. I created that expression. Mm, yes. So that's uh, that was uh, a quick application. Uh, if you want to know more, actually, I guess, yeah, if uh, you want to know more about the metaprogramming or Julia in general, as a conclusion, I would like to point like a few places where to go. So yeah, first of all, the Julia Lang web page, the web page of the Julia organization. Uh, can you see now the Julia web page or do you still see the notebook? Um, I can see the website. Okay, great. Um, there's this uh, community part and uh, yeah, community part. And so you can uh, find like places where you can chat with other people in the Julia community for ask help, mainly Zulip and the Slack and Discord also. So you can ask questions about people there. There are like the experts of Julia people there. So not like me, like people who actually are good at Julia. Then uh, uh, another thing which I wanted to bring to your attention is this uh, JuliaCon, which is this uh, conference of Julia held uh, annually. And uh, it has a lot of fantastic, great resources uh, about, uh, uh, about uh, Julia in general. It also has tutorials for beginners sometimes. Uh, it has a lot of interesting talks about Julia internals, people who develop Julia packages go there to announce their packages. So it's the best place to get the freshest and best uh, information. Uh, do I dare open my, what is the, Julia? So, um, and you, yeah. Uh, yeah, so, and you can find like from the video like this, uh, videos from last years. For example, if you want to know more about metaprogramming, last year there was a talk. Yeah, there was this workshop in this year, JuliaCon Introduction to Metaprogramming, which uh, explains a lot more and a lot better of what I try to explain now in half an hour. So if you're interested in metaprogramming, for example, this is the place to go. Um, yeah, do you have questions? Other things we should uh, add? Should we yeah, no mention Nordic currency like that? Um, yeah, so I mean, I basically we already did the wrap up. Just yeah, please remember to um, also take the time to give some feedback so yeah. that we can develop the course. And yeah, I mean, if you if you didn't already hear about this through either Nordic RC or through Code Refinery, then those are also useful resources. So yeah, um, that is the Nordic RSC website, nordic-rsc.org. Uh, RSC is for research software engineer. Um, so yes. yeah, Luca is essentially here teaching through Nordic RSC. Yes. Um, and the Zulip Nordic RSC is where I hang out most of the time, don't yeah. tell my boss. Yeah, and that is also the place to ask questions. Yeah. Um, if you're at Alto, you can also reach me in other ways. So um, if you are at Alto, um, there is a, where do I have the link? Um, I will post the link to the chat there. So it's, it's uh, sycom.zulip.cs.alto.fi. That's kind of long, um, but that is also a great place to ask questions. It says maybe more other specific experts, but most of the um, software people also hang out in the code refinery sort of chat. So you can also find us there. Yeah, there's, so there's this Zulip channel called yeah. refinery.zulipchat.com where Yarno, I and other people from Nordic RSC and code refinery hang and if you have questions about the scientific computing, software research, software engineering in general, also beyond the Julia, that's a great place to ask questions and get involved. It's also worth it 
I think to advertise so code refinery um, maybe you can show the code refinery yes. website um, it will have upcoming courses when um, so right now um, there is uh, we're sort of going through a transition so code refinery is is going starting another funding period but um, there is a page here with uh, upcoming lessons there's, uh, there's a lot of good lesson material here um, okay there's a big blue link in the middle of the page of check oh. upcoming events and workshops um, yeah so on upcoming uh, stuff we'll go here and then I also posted the link to the SciComp um, Alta training material uh, so the training page and that has um, a few upcoming classes um, MP, uh, in, oh, that's gone so we are actually in the introduction to julia so things after that will be in the future so there is a python for scientific computing this month and um some other upcoming things so um yeah these are all places that are useful to follow if you want to learn more about software development or learn some specific um programming language useful for scientific computing or numeric work. Um, I guess this will also be in the Nordic RSCs um, events, but Research Software Hour is also a good resource. That's where and Luca gave the introduction of the day, uh, workshop on. Wait, you mean the um, seminar series? Oh, that was a Nordic oh. RSC seminar. Yeah. yeah. Yes, but yeah, yes, both are great resources anyway. Yeah. So great. So, uh, oh no. um, well, if you can go to the events page and at least the seminar is there. Yeah, so there's this uh, seminar series, uh, which is organized by Nordic RSC and where we have like uh, talks of pretty much about anything, uh, which uh, could be for interest for researchers, software engineers, or people interested in research or software engineering. So uh, there was indeed like uh, a talk about package development in Julia. We had a talk about uh, combining Rust and Python. Uh, this is already on YouTube. This is will very soon be on YouTube. Then we have upcoming talks uh, about uh, well, several topics, interesting topics. Even we are absolutely sure uh, what will happen when we will add them to the page, to this website. But if you want to know already beforehand or um, volunteer to give a talk or influence what talks will happen when um, you can do that on the code refinery slip chat yeah and we have coffee every thursday at 10 finish time so yeah. that's also a great place to chat with us we don't actually have coffee to give you though because yeah <laughs> yeah i mean everyone has coffee with the others and we yeah okay yeah but so there's a, a lot of useful resources out there that we just sort of mm -hmm. want to mention everything in the end hopefully one of those will stick <laughs> and mm -hmm. um yeah that is essentially it yeah yeah so Thank thanks you. for attending